Well, this next story is about local fire departments looking out for one another, and it can be summed up with this photo. This was shared over the weekend by Spokane Valley firefighters. It may not look like much at first, but it shows a Spokane Valley fire engine housed at a station in Post Falls. So why'd they do that? Well, Valley firefighters were covering a shift for Kootenai County Fire and Rescue, so those firefighters could attend the memorial service for the daughter of one of their fellow firefighters. Creme Juice Taylor Vito has more on this show of support. Things were just a little different this weekend at this Kootenai County Fire and Rescue Station in Post Falls and others in the area as well. Other firefighters from neighboring agencies came to help out and cover shifts. It was a sign of brotherhood so that these firefighters could mourn with one of their own. It's a horrifying thing to have to bury a child. A sad reality that faced the family of a Kootenai County Fire and Rescue firefighter within the last few weeks. That firefighter's teenage daughter died suddenly, leaving not only a mourning family, but a mourning community of firefighters. To show support, everyone in KCFR wanted to attend her memorial service last weekend. But what would that mean for the crews who were scheduled to work? Under it all, you know, there's a, a true family feel to, to what we do. And support was just a few neighboring agencies away. To make sure KCFR staff could be there, various crews from Coeur d'Alene Fire, Northern Lakes Fire in Hayden, and Spokane Valley Fire took those shifts. Spokane Valley sharing this photo of their rig housed right next to a Kootenai County ambulance. Not to have to worry about um, making sure that their citizens are still covered so that they could go and show support to, to their um, to their brother Kelly, uh, it's, it's pretty huge for us. KCFR's Firefighters Union stated online that they can't say thank you enough for the move. Their area stayed safe thanks to extra help, a gesture that certainly goes both ways. There's no doubt in our mind that, you know, if we needed, if we needed assistance in any way that, that, you know, the other departments around here would, would jump right in. In North Idaho, Taylor Vido, Creme 2 News.